What's up guys, Viscosity here, with another episode of No Man's Sky. Well, I just landed on uh, one of the planets in this galaxy. Yeah, new galaxy, new to us galaxy. There appears to be a lot of wildlife here. It is pretty hot, uh, in fact, though. So I'm not sure how much adventuring we're gonna be able to do before having to go back to our ship again. Yeah, let's, whoa. Like a dinosaur reindeer. But a very miniature one. That is interesting. Some really interesting wildlife here. Looks like a little T Rex with a freaking with a mohawk. <laughs> but yeah, how uh, like what are you guys thinking of this series so far? Are you enjoying it? Um, if so, let me know in the comment section below. And why are the why are my temperature levels stabilizing all of a sudden? I mean, I won't really complain, but it seems a bit odd to me. There's a lot to scan here. Pretty neat. These things aren't gonna attack me, huh? They're cautious. Cautious. They eat absorb nutrients. Hmm. Well, yeah. Are you guys enjoying the series, though? Yeah. Let me know in the comments section below. I'm thinking this is gonna be my last episode. In fact, what is that face? Oh my god. That, it's like a beak. Yeah, like... I think this might be my last episode of No Man's Sky that I record. I'm definitely going to continue to play the game. And start heading towards the center of the universe and all that. I just feel like the gameplay for this game will be pretty repetitive. Because the game can be a bit of a grind as you can already, I'm sure as you guys can already tell. If you've made it this far, if you're still watching these videos, then... I'm sure you can realize just how repetitive this game can be. And I feel like, as a viewer, it's not particularly... At this point, nothing I'm doing is that particularly interesting. It's all pretty much the same stuff, and I'm just... You know, the only difference are the planets. The planets... Some planets can be cool. I mean, they're kind of hit and miss. Hit or miss, rather. Some are really cool, some not so much. This one's one of the more interesting ones, I will say. But I mean... Sometimes it can be a bit few and far between when I really have any truly interesting content. And that's just by nature of the game. This is interesting here. But yeah, so I think this is going to be my last recorded episode of No Man's Sky. At least for the foreseeable future. I mean, I could always bring it back at any time. I'm just not going to record, like, every little part of my playthrough in this game. Like, as I head closer and closer to the center of the universe, you know, I might come out with some more recordings. I just want to see what his face looks like. They're grazing creatures, so he's not going to attack, I guess. He keeps turning. I can't see his head. I want to see what his face looks like, damn it. Okay. Oh, shoot. He scared me. Let's feed this big guy. I guess the reason it's not so hot anymore is because it's like the sun's starting to go down. The temperature levels on this planet have dropped considerably. Okay. Huh? What is this? Uh... Oh, Radnox. Thank you. Thank you, friend. I never found that element before. Mm, I need to make some room for plutonium in my inventory. Gonna be something I'll need. Actually, I have room in my ship. I'll store the Radnock there. And just start harvesting plutonium. Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen any sentinels here. That is something I am not complaining about at all whatsoever. Yep. What do we have here? Okay. Bypass chip. Yeah, whatever.
Uh, I have to gather some iron. And then drop yet another thing. Oh, there's a sentinel. I jinxed myself, guys. I jinxed myself. But yeah, this, uh, this planet we are on is called this. And I need to upload it while I'm at it. So yeah, like, the, there's a lot of complaints about this game, and like, I guess one thing is like, the game being a bit grindy, and I mean, it, it, I could, I can definitely see why people are saying that. You basically go to planet after planet, just harvesting the same resources, and it's not really like, generally it's not really like any planets have like, resources that other ones don't, for the most part, they're the same. That's how the game can just be a bit grindy. I suppose. I mean, it's cool if you're really into exploration and stuff. The game does feel, to me, like people were saying, the game does feel a bit unfinished. Like, there feels like there should be more to do. There's really not much to do uh, on these planets. Oh, you know what we can do? Is this. Hello? <laughs> uh, I was wondering why I was doing that. Thank you, thank you. They basically will let you know, like, whenever they're around, like, new stuff. I will. Don't want more zinc. I got enough zinc. Where's that ship at? Yeah, but I mean, one problem like that I have is, you know, we go out to all these planets, which are pretty cool. There's a lot of pretty cool planets, but there's really not too much to do. I mean, we can like use bypass ships to find different stuff monoliths and stuff like that but the game also kind of lacks a sense of purpose but I mean I'm f I'm kind of fine with that attribute because I mean a, a lot of survival kind of games lack focus you know like that's the beauty kind of of a survival game survival exploration to me like one of the beauties of these kinds of games are you know, you're not directed to go here, go there. Okay, that's off planet. So we won't be heading to that just yet. But yeah, to me, the beauty behind the survival exploration genre of games, if you will, is that, you know, you can do whatever you want and you're not told what to do, but unlike some of the other, perhaps better, survival exploration games, this game does not, uh, really give you that much that you could even do is that that's the only issue that I would whoa <laughs> that's the only issue I would have with the game I will uh, get some more Rosetta stones here We got an achievement. Interpreter, 50 words. The achievement is the languages of Peo. Attain interpreter status and words collected. Nice. Quite a feat, quite a feat. Don't activate the main attraction now, shall we? I see a strange vision. A small winged creature lands on the very top of the monolith. Suddenly, its eyes glow red and its head revolves in a full circle. It screams for mercy in an ancient voice that wants itself dead. The poor animal has clearly broken its neck. The monolith's power of possession still animates it. I wonder if the right thing would be to shoot it and put it out of its misery. Yeah. 
Hey, I'm rewarded. Awesome. The Gek, I guess that's the new race. And we've seen a lot of Gek charms and stuff like that. I guess the aliens that are in this area are the Gek. That's cool. Enough, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So, what's next? Let's see what else we can find on this planet, if anything sort of catches my eye. Which, now that I think about it, when I landed at that last place, I never even went in that building. <laughs> Trollingly enough, I actually didn't go in that building earlier. Check out this place. What's that green stuff? You guys see that? First, we can get a, probably get a few scans off over here. Yeah, that looks really interesting. Hey, here's a new uh, creature that I don't think we discovered yet. There's that face. That's pretty much what I have to say about like every creature in the game. I love the different faces and stuff. It's crazy. Oh, is this just gold? This is just gold, isn't it? Oh, emerald. Never seen emerald in that form. Do we have any emerald right now? I thought I got some earlier. Yeah, we do. We're pretty much full on it. We'll just go until we're completely full. Alright. That was quick enough. What about these guys? Are I scanned these guys yet? Yeah. These guys I have not. Another issue, I guess, while we're on the topic of that, would be, well, those are really small, is I don't feel like the survival elements of the game are really there, like, they're not really present enough. Like, I never once felt a challenge to survive in this game. Like, let's compare it to something like Subnautica, a game I play quite a bit. Um. Ooh. I've never seen that. That's cool. Maybe that'll up the survival element of this game. I mean, probably not, but I'm just saying maybe. But yeah, like, let's compare it to a game like Subnautica where... You know... I mean, ignoring the whole food and water elements and all that, which, I mean, I guess you could argue, yeah, that's like a pretty, like... survival-oriented element of the game. But ignoring that about, oh man, ignoring that about Subnautica, what I'm really talking about is the fact that there's predators in that game. And those predators are, you know, some of them are really powerful. Hell, some can even one-shot you in the game. There's nothing like that in this game. You're, I mean, there are certain, uh, sure, there are certain, uh, fauna in the game that will attack you on sight. But there's nothing that's like scary or any 109.3 Celsius. Wow, that is hot. That is freaking hot as hell. Yeah, but there's nothing that, like, although there's things that will attack you on sight in this game, yeah, sure. There's nothing that will, like, really be, like, terrifying, and definitely nothing can one shot you. I never feel this. I never really feel the struggle to survive in this game. I don't know, I would pref definitely prefer that element as something to make it more interesting, more exciting. I don't know how you would ever even die in this game, like, it actually seems like you would have to try 
like, not survive. Like, I just wish there was more of that element at play because, I don't know, it's generally a pretty enjoyable element of these games for me. Is like, let's see, like, can I survive in this harsh area? Like, I don't know, I'm just not feeling that with this game. Like, I still enjoy the game. Like, overall, it's fun, yeah. But it feels, it does feel a bit unfinished. A lot of people are saying that, and and I can't argue with them. I really can't. Um, that's absolutely correct, I believe. Um, also depends on the individual, you know? Like, some people are going to get more enjoyment than others out of it. Like, I'm still going to play the game, though, don't get me wrong. Like, I want to... I want to see if I can reach the center of the universe and stuff. I'm not, I'm just not gonna, like, I'm not gonna record every single video because I realize that this is probably getting quite boring for some of you guys. I mean, if you even made it this far, a lot of people probably even make it nearly this far in my video series. Just simply because the content of the game just isn't there. It's just not, it, it can be a bit grindy. It's all about the exploration and you're kind of at the mercy of how, like, what, planets you end up encountering it too. So there's that element. Um but yeah, it's like this planet that I'm on right now it's so vast. I could explore the hell out of this place, but why really would I want to? Like what is there to do on this planet? Like what exactly is there to do on this planet? And to that I would say hmm, not really much. Like what there is to do on this planet is the same thing as there was to do on the, the planet before that and the planet before that. And it will be the same thing that you'll do, like, on every single planet you go to. That's just harvest things like plutonium and carbon and, and like, iron and the essential elements in the game and just... Oh, here we go. This is gonna attack me on side, I can already tell. Not today, Zerg. Yeah, and then... I mean, the Sentinels, like, they're a fucking joke. I mean, come on. These guys are such a fucking joke. Like... They, like, can't do jack shit. They're just so weak. I just, like, two-shot them. Like, wow. I almost want to just start fighting these guys just to make shit more interesting, you know what I mean? These guys are just, like, jokingly easy to kill. I'm almost willing to just, like, go to town on every freaking sentinel I see just to make it more interesting in that regard. Hmm. Instantaneous damage on target. I feel like I don't find enough aluminum. I know I found a little bit. I guess I need to go in the caves more. That's probably where I'll find it more often. Yeah, I, all I'm saying is I just wish there was a little bit more at play in this game. I wish... I wish the game was a bit more fleshed out. I wish there was more to do in the game in general. That's all I'm saying, when it comes down to it. And we have found a lot of, like, technology at this point. That's pretty cool. in here I don't want to check it out just to see oh, nothing I wish the caves like I mean I've seen some pretty large caves but I wish there were more there were more of like caves like that caves just go for days those are cool Well, yeah, I guess that's about it for this place. I'm gonna be heading out. 
And I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and end the let's play as well. This is a really weird shape thing. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna head out of this planet and that's it for this let's play series guys. Um I may bring it back later. Like this isn't necessarily a goodbye for good. This is more a goodbye for now. Um this content can get quite a bit stagnant. That's something I do realize. This content can get a bit stagnant. Um, I'm not sure myself how much more of this game I'm gonna even play. Like, I figure, like, at least for now, I'm gonna keep on playing it off camera. Uh, trying to head towards the center of the universe. Speeding through certain planets, spending more time on others. Adventuring, grinding. Whatever it takes to get to the center of the universe, I guess. I mean, even the whole center of the universe thing, I don't particularly care too much. And I bet it's, I don't know, I have a feeling it's going to be very anticlimactic once I, in fact, do get there. Well, you know, maybe I'll bring it back later on. Maybe I'll show you some clips here and there. I don't know. I haven't really planned ahead that far. But, yeah, this, is, this has been Viscosity with No Man's Sky. I hope, if you've made it this far in the Let's Play, I hope you've been enjoying yourself. And, uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. And I'll see you in another Let's Play series later.